Lena, this is a great point for you to jump in and kind of debunk the mysteries of the publishing process and let us know what's going on. So it's all yours to share. Yeah, absolutely. And I think we have a um, we have a slide that we can pull on quickly. And yeah, I'll try to address some of those points. Well, first of all, I think I mentioned that um, we just presented a slideshow. Um, I mentioned that I wear a few hats and I think that are, the, the specific OS verification hat is the one that I borrow. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll totally explain the, the, the mystery behind. And when I think about the publishing experience, uh, you know, and you see this sort of like the confused and happy phase, and I don't understand for you guys, when you build an add-on, you're it's like, wow, yeah, finally. And then boom, there's a publishing process, right? <laughs> and you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't count on it. And I, I totally echo John, and, and that's great advice. Uh, by any means, um, start it earlier. You don't have to polish your user experience uh, to start the process. Uh, and number two is, and, and, and then I try to sort of like add a couple of bubbles on the slide. Um, there are two processes, in fact, and I see a lot of comments uh, right now uh, when you refer to the publishing experience, um, you know, you obviously, and it's it's Google, right? So we, you shouldn't you shouldn't feel that you should know how, how Google internal <laughs> org works. But in fact, there are two processes. One process is run by the trust and safety. And that's where actually you're getting your OS consent screen verified, your add-in scopes, and then your the the data um, access that you will be requesting is validated, verified, and approved. And that's very important. Again, you 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 might feel it's a painful experience for you guys, but what we hear from 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 users, what we hear from admins, they actually uh, really happy that we have this enforcement process in place. And specifically, uh, and I think I saw a comment from Steve about their, I presume, restricted scopes, right? Restricted scopes, it's even a more complicated process requiring not only time investment, but also uh, our financial uh, investment. The, this process for more sensitive data is also to make sure that we have some processes in place uh, and 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 so there, when the the enterprise customers and specifically admin decide to adopt your solution and install it across multiple user cells, and and, and sometimes they, they they trust it, right? So they trust that uh, the application is secure. So those red bubbles is basically the process you're going through to get your data verified. The blue bubbles, <laughs> it's a marketplace review process. That's a process that um, is run by their uh, workspace platform marketplace team. And that's more about user experience, uh, making sure that your, again, uh, app store listing is created, all marketplace policies are uh, respected and you're in compliance. But we also do check, and this is where actually the OS verification process sometimes is a bottleneck. We check that you went successfully through the OS verification process. And again, Think about marketplace review process is, is is some sort of a free QA process for you guys, right? So we're going through the user experience as we're, we're users, and we're making sure that the application that you're you're publishing um, is good, right? Is secure, as 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 it's a certain quality. And it's true that sometimes there are back and forth because we we know we might not understand what 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 exactly trying to achieve, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, but it's for your own good. We're making sure that when the application is published, users are ultimately happy with. So again, my advice for the OS verification process, right? Um, do it earlier. I know there is um, the, the team is working on some improvements, and and I hear a lot about the demo video and how confusing can it be, and there is a lot, lot of back and forth. But I also feel, and I didn't make a question to like Romain and, and John, I do feel that we made some progress. It's it's getting better, uh, but I also do understand when when it's your first time going through the process, it, it does sound confusing. And and by any means, again, uh, uh, there's also there a comment about human interaction. Uh, there when you submit your application to be published into the marketplace uh, a couple of days a maximum couple of days later you'll receive an email from the review team and and they're they're your humans behind this process that are happy to support you and happy to clarify the process itself one thing that i'll call out though and and, and i hopefully we have some audience here is if you want to make sure that we send you this welcome email 
please provide a, 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 a correct developer email. Unfortunately, and I say it a lot, you'll, you'll just as of kind of a funny story. Uh, when you when you go through the publishing, um, you know, marketplaces decay UI, you're you're not providing necessarily the right channel to communicate with you guys. So, but if you do this, I think everything will should be fine. And I just uh, yeah, maybe like quickly going back to the to, to my slide, um, the publishing a public app obviously required to go through all of the steps. Publishing our private app is is a is a is a more as a straightforward.